we weren't the first to this party, but we're going to be the best. Just like cut and paste. Other people had cut and paste before we did, but everybody, it's, I think, widely believed that we just nailed it uh, with the way we did it, and it's much better than, than any other implementation. I think we'll, people will think the same about multitasking. And uh, I'm going to just go ahead and, and launch mail right off the dock there. And uh, so here I am in mail. I'm going to look at a mail message. And uh, this mail message has a, uh, has a URL to a website. So I'm going to go to that website, and I just click on it, and I'm taken to the browser, right? So far, this is what we do every day on an iPhone. And here I am at this uh, Mount Kilimanjaro website. Now, I want to go back to reading my mail. I'm done looking at this website. What do I do? I could navigate back to the home screen and then click on mail again. But rather than that, I can just double click the home button. And the window raises up and it shows me all the apps that are running. These are all the apps that are running. And I want to go back to mail. And I go right back to where I left it. I want to go back to that web page. There I am, right back at the web page. Very simple. Very, very simple. So now what I want to do is I want to go to eBay uh, to check on an auction I'm following. I can just tap on it. And again, I go right to where I left off in the apps. So here I am on eBay where I left off. I'm checking my auction. And uh, now I want to go play a game. Let me go play Tap Tap Revenge. And Tap Tap Revenge gives me a countdown. It keeps me where I was, but it gives me a countdown of... Uh... All right, I'm not winning here. So, pretty cool, huh? And again, I can go home anytime I want just by clicking the home button again. And boom, I'm home. All right? Make sense? Really simple UI. Puts the icons of all the apps that are running right at the bottom where I can just flick them with my thumb right here. And it's very, very easy to use, very efficient. And we think users are going to love it. So uh, let's say I'm on the train. I'm listening to my personalized radio station. Until now, it's all I'd be able to do. Uh, but with new uh, the, the iPhone OS 4, I can now head over to Safari, catch up on my newspaper reading. I'm going to browse over to the New York Times website and peruse some of the latest headlines. <clears throat> so I could spend my whole train ride like this. I could read my email, I could browse the web, I could catch up with my calendar, and all the while, my personal soundtrack just keeps spinning in the background, just like it was always meant to be. Thanks very much. This is the screen I see when I first go into Skype. I can see all my contacts, and I can see those that are online with a green icon next to their name. And of course, they can see that I'm online too. Now, until today, navigating away from the Skype app meant that I'd go offline. The app would quit, and I'd no longer be able to receive chats or calls from any of my contacts. However, with iPhone OS 4, when I leave the app, I go into background. Yet, I'm still able to receive calls. Let's say I want to go to one of my favorite games. I just double-click the home button, bring up the multitasking UI, and go straight to it. Now, even though I'm in a, another application, I still look online to my Skype contacts because the OS is maintaining a network connection between my iPhone and the Skype cloud. Oh, look, Aaron's calling. Now, even in another app, if someone tries to call me, I receive a notification, and I can answer it with just one tap. Hey, Aaron, are you there? Hey, David, how's it going? Pretty good. Can you just hang on one second? Yeah, sure. Great. Now, the notification you just saw was really simple to implement. Just a few dozen lines of code. And we can play our own custom sound. Hey, Aaron, are you there? Yep, I am. Hey, I was wondering if you're interested in getting some dinner tonight. Yeah, sure. I'll just go into an app and uh, see if I can find some places. OK. OK, so you can see at the top of the screen, there's a red status bar. This shows that the Skype call is still in progress, even though the Skype app's no longer in foreground. I'm just looking up some places now, Aaron. Um, how about we go to Abacus? That sounds great. Actually, I always wanted to try that. Cool. OK, I'll send you the details in a few minutes. I'm um, just with some folks right now. OK, sounds good. I'll see you later. Great. Bye-bye. So Bye. now I can choose to go to another application, or I can just put the phone in my pocket. In either case, the app will be in background, and I can still receive calls. Now, with iPhone OS 4, <laughs> Skype is even more convenient and useful 
for everyone that depends on it every day worldwide. Thanks for having us here today.